The last type of sensor I'm going to go over are capacitive touch sensors. I have one set up here. It consists of a piece of conductive material. I'm using a piece of copper cut off from this roll and connected to the piece of material, soldered onto the piece of material, are two resistors. I'll go over their values in just a second. And these resistors connect to two different pins on the Arduino. The basic idea is that this sheet of copper acts as one plate of a capacitor in your circuit. The other plate is your hand, which is essentially grounded. So by changing how much you touch the piece of copper, how far your finger is from the piece of copper, you change the capacitance in the circuit. Um, and you can even put a piece of an inductor between this sheet of copper and your finger and you can still measure changes using the, the Arduino. How the code works is that a pulse gets sent out and depending on the capacitance in the circuit, which is being adjusted depending on whether or not you're touching it, touching the, the copper plate, uh, that pulse gets uh, delayed some amount and that information can be used to control some other electrical components in your circuit. The circuit for a capacitive touch sensor looks like this. On one pin you connect uh, a pretty large resistor. I have 5.5 mega ohms here and connected to that resistor is the plate, so this is uh, this piece of copper right here. And also connected to the piece of copper is another resistor, so one kilo ohm. I think I have, yeah, just a one kilo ohm. This is just to pr actually protect the Arduino. And we connect this to another pin. Now we say this is the send pin and this is the receive pin for this circuit. Now, yeah, so here's the 5.5 mega ohm connected to the piece of copper and this is the 1 kilo ohm also connected to the copper that's shown here. Now the other plate in the capacitor is your hand. Um, so this is your, your hand here. This is the copper. And uh, how the code works, uh, it requires this library called the CapSense library. I'll go over that in just a sec. Um, but how it works is it sends out this electrical pulse uh, from the send pin. And depending on the capacitance, this pulse will get uh, smeared out. This is a, it's, it's an RC circuit. Um, I'll have some links to how RC circuits work but the pulse form kind of gets spread out like this. And how much it gets spread, how much it actually gets delayed, it, uh, depends on the capacitance. Um, so the, what's pretty neat about these capacitive touch sensors is that um, you're, you're sent, you actually are able to get kind of an analog type reading because these are both connected to digital pins, but the read, the output is, uh, is a delay, it's an amount of time. Um, it's a reading of the capacitance, so depending on how hard you're touching it, you're, you're going to get different readings. So you're, even though you're reading uh, with digital pins, um, you're going to get some value that's ranging from um, zero to around a thousand. So right now I have set up only two capacitive touch sensors, and here's the code for uh, reading in the signals from these capacitive touch sensors. Uh, right now the code's written for 10 capacitive touch sensors, but we're just going to be looking at two right here. So that's CS underscore zero and CS underscore one. To do capacitive touch sensing, you need to use this capacitive sensor library right here. And uh, this first, these these first lines of code declare the capacitive touch sensor. So the send pin is send uh, is pin two, and the receive pin is is pin three for sensor number zero, and send pins two and receive pin is four for sensor number one here. 
and so on. You label them however you would like to. The value that is recording the delay time, which uh, depends on the capacitance of the, of the sensor, is uh, declared here, cap 0 through cap 9. Again, we're only going to be uh, recording cap 0 and cap 1 because we only have two, two sensors set up here. Then we have some initializing that's done in, in the setup loop. This line is for the serial monitor. And here's the code for reading in the, the signal from the capacitive touch sensor here. Again, it's the library makes the code very clean. It's only one line. It's pretty easy to use. And here are the readings for those two sensors right here. Uh, because there's no the because I'm not touching the the sheet of metal right now, the capacitance is is very low and the delay time is therefore very low. But if I touch this sensor, sensor zero right here, you see the delay time increase for sensor zero. You do see a bit of crosstalk there, but the relative signal is so much less than what is what the change is on sensor zero that I have found it's not that big of an issue. Uh, maybe it could be cleaned up if you use a different pin for your send signal for each capacitive sensor. And when I uh, press sensor one, you see the increase in the delay time because I'm increasing the capacitance by touching the sensor. And without touching the sensor, you can also see changes in the in the delay time. So on sensor one, I'm not touching it right now, but you're seeing it's slightly increasing. It's a it's about 100 in comparison to when my finger's not there. It's about 10 or 20. And again, I'm still not touching, still not touching. So the the signal increases by a factor of of 20 almost without me even touching it and when my finger comes in complete contact with it it's it's increases by a factor of, of several hundred um, and one of the nice things with these capacitive touch sensors is you can actually cover them up with some material and they still will function the same so now I've got these little uh, these uh, these slices of uh, hardwood right here I put them over the sensor and now I'm touching just the piece of wood and you're seeing this increase in in the delay time. It's not as much of course when I make directly direct contact with the with the conductive material, but the signal is is plenty for detecting when you're touching the sensor and when you're not. Just as with the other sensors, I wanted to demonstrate how multiple capacitive touch sensors could be used with the Arduino Uno. Shown here is my newest device. It is an interactive LED ring and it's got 10 capacitive touch sensors that can be used to control uh, MIDI signal and 10 LEDs that you can't see right now because they're on the other side of the device. You're looking at the bottom. I've removed the plate which fits into place here so that all the electronics are protected. But I've opened it up so you can see what the sensors look like. And the schematic for these sensors is shown right here. There are these 10 capacitive touch sensors. Each one of them has two resistors connected to them, a send and a receive pin. And they're hooked up as shown here. And right now I'm running code just to display the values of the capacitive touch sensors and I've, I've slowed it down here. The program is identical to what I was just showing with two capacitive touch sensors except now I've got 10. Uh, so let me just scroll through. This is setting up the 10 sensors, the values for storing, the, the values, oh sorry, the variables for storing the values from the capacitive touch sensors, the de delay times, and then in the loop, we um, assign those variables to a, a measurement from the capacitive touch sensor. And then I'm just displaying 
those values in they are showing they are being shown right here in the serial monitor right now I'm not touching in the capacitive touch sensor so this is what the baseline looks like there's a bit of variance um, but it's low relative to the changes that you will get when you touch the the sensors sensor zero is right here so I'm going to touch it and you'll see this huge spike when I make direct contact with the copper plate but on the other side, which is how the sensor is actually meant to function, uh, you'll see a, a, a minor change in the signal. It's going from maybe 30 to 300 or 400. And now my hand is removed. So on the other side, you can't see right now. I'll flip it over in a second. There's a piece of hardwood between the copper plate and the sensor. And I'm just barely touching it right now. We're, we're getting some increase in the signal. And you can look at the values of the surrounding sensors. You see that they do increase. So there is some crosstalk across these sensors, but the changes are pretty small relative to the change for the single sensor that I'm actually touching. And I'll, I'll go around here. So now I'm touching sensor one. You see the increase. I'm touching sensor two. You see it's going to about 500 to 600 and so on as I move around and in doing this you can see what the the crosstalk looks like across all of these sensors so if you want to make very uh, sensitive measurements with these sensors you may have some issues some crosstalk issues if, if it's set up like this now if you look around in this box you see that there's really no shielding at all I didn't I, I paid really no attention to uh, protecting these these wires that are connected to the different capacitive touch sensors I just wire them up and and uh, wire wrap them right to the pins on the Arduino which are right here and I didn't think too much about it and it was good enough for my application and just so you can see what it looks like on the other side I'll flip the device over I ignore the LEDs right now. I haven't I haven't programmed them to do anything. Okay. I may I probably should have put the bottom plate on, but I, you'll get the idea here. Uh, so now I'm touching sensor nine, and you see it go from zero to six hundred or so. And now this is going to be sensor one. So we're going from about 500 and then back down to zero when I, or I guess it's around 60 when I, when I stop touching the panel. Another thing that I've noticed that uh, when you're using these and you, you touch the pad and then you, you move your hand away, there is some variance in what the return to baseline is. All in all, it, it, bas it, it basically returns to in this application less than a value of 100 and again that was that was fine for what I was trying to do with this device uh, those are the things to keep in mind with these capacitive touch sensors I really like them I think they're the signal is really clean relative to the other sensors that I've worked with they're easy to hook up it's a digital you use digital digital pins but you get this analog type of signal back depending on how hard you're touching the sensors and that could be used for for many applications